so good evening everyone uh, thank you uh, i like to thank you everyone for joining this meeting so today i'll be doing it uh, and my name is anwar samastara i am the president of this group so let's start off today's meeting so it will be about stocks of sri lanka so let's carry on so what are stocks so stocks are bird, uh, are birds that are can are wading birds, large wading birds, and they, there are about 19 species of stalks that form the secondary family secondary, which means the family of stalks. So, and there are seven of them in Sri Lanka. So, let's see who are they. So, if you take stalks seen in Sri Lanka, there's the Asian open bill, and then the painted stalk, the woolly neck stalk, lesser adjutant, black neck stalk white stock and black stock so let's first see, first see the asian open bill so this is the asian open bill in scientific terms it's called the anastomus ossitans uh, in singhala uh, it's called the uh, viveratudua uh, so asian open bill is kind of like the most common stock species of sri lanka normally seen in everywhere uh, you can see them in paddy fields uh, marshlands and such on so the easiest way to distinguish it from other stocks is its opened bill is i think you can see in this picture that you can see an opening in its bill so that's what that's what it gives that what that is the feature that gives its name the open bill so this bird uh, is um, often confused with the white stalk, which is kind of more rare than this bird uh, but there are ways to distinguish them uh, like the thick black colored bill, bill uh, of the open bill and it's also opening opening in the bill uh, so and this bird is known to love oysters I mean it likes to eat oysters so it's a resident bird to Sri Lanka resident bird means a bird that lives type species of bird that lives in two particular countries but don't migrate so then we have the painted stalk scientific terms it's called Mycteria leucocephala uh, you might have heard the you might have heard this bird as the latuekia uh, in singular so the painted stalk is another common species of stalk uh, mostly seen in the dry zone of Sri Lanka it's very common in the dry zone and occasion occasionally visits comes to the wet season too mostly during the migrating season so it's kind of a colorful stalk it has a yellow beak orange face pink tail feathers I mean colorful it's a very colorful bird if you take for stalk normally stalks are black and white you know it's kind of monotonous so this is considered as a resident bird so let's look at the woolly neck stalk so in scientific terms it's known as Siconia episcopus episcopus so it's a medium sized stalk uh, so it's, it's mostly black in color except its belly and its neck so and its neck has fluffy feathers what gives its name this bird is an uncommon resident to Sri Lanka and this bird is also known as the Padilimana in Singhala it's mostly because sometimes it looks like a father in a church so then we have the lesser adjutant uh, scientifically known as the Leptoptilus javanicus so this bird is considered as the heaviest wading bird and the largest bird second largest bird sorry uh, the largest is the black neck stalk uh, so this bird is kind of a bizarre animal I mean it has a bare head that is kind of similar to a vulture uh, uh, it's because uh, these other species of these birds uh, order are actually scavengers uh, means they scavenge from dead animals so the bear head has evolved so they can they don't need to you know clean that head that much 
but the lesser agent is not an exclusive scavenger i mean it mostly hunts for its food rather than scavenge so it has a bare head and a neck the neck is uh, yellow colored um, the upper parts are black and the underparts are white in color so this is a very scarce resident bird normally seen in even in the dry zone normally seen in the national parks uh, include it's included in the IUCN red list as an endangered bird so now we have the black neck stalk uh, scientifically known as Epiphyorhynchus asiaticus asiaticus now this is the tallest and the largest bird in Sri Lanka if you take size wise uh, this bird is if you take its height normally it goes from 1.3 meters to 1.5 meters so it's kind of tall bird so uh, it's a very rare bird normally seen in few parts in the eastern side of the island so this bird uh, has a black head uh, and black wing coverts um, the legs are red uh, so you can distinguish the sexes in this type of stalk uh, the male actually have a black male have black eyes and females have yellow eyes so the one in this picture is a uh, male so in singular it's called the uh, alimana mostly due to its size so it's an extremely rare resident bird so let's go to the next species of stalk uh, so it's called the white stalk uh, scientifically known as Ciconia Ciconia so this stalk actually have notice, noticeable similarities with the Asian open bill the anastomus ositans that we told you earlier so uh, there is a way to distinguish this bird distinguish this bird so this bird has a, is kind of larger than the Asian open bill and it's, if you take its beak uh, the beak is uh, slender it's kind of straight and it's a bright red in color rather than the black bill black thick opened bill of the open bill so this stalk is a vagrant bird to sri lanka vagrant means a bird that rarely migrates to a particular country and i mean this bird only has few sightings in sri lanka and we have the black stalk sikonia nigra so just like the white stalk black stalk is also a vagrant bird to sri lanka so uh, there's only very few sightings and so as its name says most of its body is actually black so but its eye and beak and legs are red and while while the underparts are white so this is also a green bird as i mentioned before uh, so that's it for today uh, I mean, if you have questions, uh, send them to the chat box. Uh, and most importantly, thank you all for joining our meeting today. So there, there's a question asking, is flamingo also considered as a stalk? So flamingo is actually not a stalk. It's considered as a, not in a it's actually in a different family. It's called the Phenicopteridae. Um, they're actually more related to the Grebes. Uh, Grebes is a small, uh, small weight water bird. Uh, it's kind of like a duck, but there are some differences. So, flamingos are, are mostly related to Grebes. Uh, yeah, so they're not they're not stalks. I mean, even in their morphological features, you can distinguish them easily. I mean, the flamingo has a very slender build slender build i mean it has a very thin long neck while stalks usually have a very large neck normally thick thicker necks and even their beaks their beaks are very long longer than that of a flamingo and they are they are much thicker as you can see in this black neck stalk uh, and plus uh, flamingos are more colorful than stalks stalks are normally monotonous mostly coming in black and white while flamingos come in crimson red pink and vivid colors so yeah if you have any other questions please ask them yeah you can send them to the chat box
Yeah, if you have questions, please send them to the chat box. Yes, if you have questions, you can ask them quickly. So there is a question asking what is the largest stock in the world? So the large it's considered the Marabu stock is the largest stock in the world. So Marabu stock is called uh, Leptoptilus circumifinans. Uh, it's actually a relative to the lesser adjutant that I showed you. It's actually just like the same animal, just a bit larger. There are some differences like uh, the marabou stock has a neck pouch while the lesser doesn't have it. Uh, so marabou stock is at least about 1.52 meters tall and is about 8 kilograms in weight. So kind of like the heaviest wading bird in the whole world and the largest wading bird too. Yeah, if you have other, if you have more questions, please uh, send them to the chat box.
so it looks like there's no more questions for you to ask so again uh, we'd like to thank you all for joining this meeting uh, so we hope you'll join our future meetings too uh, so until our next meeting uh, uh, goodbye everyone so have a nice day